70 Plymouth Fury Grand Coupe, 383, two barrel. Thought it'd be pretty cool when it's done. Brian's buggy's towing, and I'm basically driving the car back for him, too. But I know that's it. Indiana, Pennsylvania, home of Jimmy Stewart. If you ever want a, a good time, come on down to Indiana, Pennsylvania. Working with Jim has been awesome. He's easy to work with. Uh, I didn't buy the car right off the bat. I called him back, and we worked things out. Well, here we are in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, in a Walmart parking lot. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Taking it away. He came down last week, took a look at the car, and then I didn't hear from him. So I That's figured, it. whatever, it's in the pile. We'll get to it. it. It was in one of the previous episodes we showed that I had the car that we were going to build it. And it's just, we'll see what he came up and looked at it and then disappeared. And then he called me a few days later, and we made a deal. And Man, that was a hell ride home. Yeah. A hell ride home. And the cool thing about it, Whoops. you're from Indiana, Pennsylvania. The car's got an Indiana yeah, plate on it. Yeah, isn't that weird? She called to say, she's missing all my kissing and loving all her baby. So come on home, I'm on my way. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Video Dan. <laughs> God. Take two. What's up, YouTube? Of course, my phone rang again. Video Dan and I left at about 1 o'clock this morning and took ourselves a little road trip. And we are currently in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, just to the east of the middle of nowhere. I sold my 70 Fury, and it just so happens that the guy that's buying it lived in Pennsylvania. So we decided I'll bring the car up for him because I'm coming here anyway. We're about to go pick up the parts for Cindy's 67 Cornette roof and a taillight bucket that I got from a gentleman that lives here in Edinburgh. And then we are headed due east again to Jamestown, New York. And we're gonna show you something, hopefully it's still there, um, but we can talk about that when we get there. This is Joel, and we're in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania to pick up the top for Cindy's 67 Cornette. I'm lucky I got this non-vinyl top card, not a speck of rust on it. Got a couple dents in it, but I got the whole structure. We're just going to take the skin and, and use the skin. I'm not going to do structure, um, but it, this is this is invaluable to get something this clean. So, And then I got the taillight bucket that we need for that car as well, which has been a little bit of a hassle to find. So. Um, but Joel hooked us up, and we're going to load this up on the truck. Guy's got a kind of interest in salvage yard. Well, not even really a salvage yard, just stuff that he's collected. And all of the pictures, we'll, we'll show you all the pictures of the cars, but it's just, it's just kind of a cool time capsule. They're all really cool. There's a matching numbers GTX back there, but it needs to be rebodied. bunch of these the early barracudas and I just did I had it actually it was at good guys in Lexington not this past year but the year before that I did a, a 64 two-door that was pretty sick huh, uh, and then one of these this is 66 yeah yeah I had a, a 65 and we put a 360 magnum motor in it and silly me put four tens in it and I mean you can't drive it <laughs> You know what I mean? It's it's fun to a point, but then it's like yeah, I should have done far. some different gear yeah. in it. But I do love old Mopar. Tony's gonna dig this. 
Uncle Tony's Garage, which is also oh, on yeah. YouTube. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. Okay, Tony yeah, is a huge Mopar guy. Yeah, yeah, huge. Cool. He's putting a Slant 6 in a Miata right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't, I've yeah. been so busy, I haven't had time to w look at anything recreational yep. for a long time. So, I, I, winter time, you get a little bit more time to, to sit around and do nothing. some old B body cars too. I did a 71 uh, Super B, it was, oh, uh, for a guy in that car, B5, like that. I just love old Mopar stuff. Yeah. I that's... just, you know, it's it's what my very first car, well, one of my very, my very first car that I actually put license plates on and drove legally was a 71 Sebring Plus. And I would love to find another 71 Sebring Plus, right. not right. a 72. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's got to be a 71 because 71 split the marker lights up, you know, right, had right, right. Yeah. three sections and the 72 didn't. We made a mistake. Um, where we're going in New York, we're not going to do it today because in my infinite wisdom, I put the wrong town. I put Jamestown instead of Jamesport. Jamestown is only 65 miles from here. James Port is 500. I'm all set with that. Uh, I'm going home. In the meantime, enjoy some beautiful Pennsylvania B-roll. Seacrest out! <laughs> <laughs> 